Hello, everyone. Welcome to our masterclass on serums and anti-aging. I'm Dr. Barbara Sturm. I'm a medical doctor. I started in the orthopedics and I help pioneering a treatment which creates a cocktail from body on proteins. That means that you take the a patient's blood, you create anti-inflammatory proteins and growth factors, and you um, spin it, take the red blood cells away, and inject the plasma into the joints to take down inflammation and therefore the aging process. There you already see inflammation has something to do um, with um, aging. And um, I translated this whole knowledge from the orthopedics into the skin. In 2002, I created the, um, the, the blood fascia, what you know is blood fascia, I combined hyaluronic acid um, injectables with the blood, with the proteins from the blood. I also created a cream with the body on proteins. And I wanted to work on a molecular level effectively against inflammation and re, um, reintroducing growth factors to um, an aging skin, which is something which is really important when we um, look at um, an aging skin or an overall aging body. So aging is something we're all very interested in and it has definitely a big um, problem with inflammation. So inflammation is all around us and inflammation is something we got to get under control in order to um, keep our overall health and slow down the aging process. So definitely um, Inflammation comes from sun, pollution, the HEV light from our phones, from no sleep, the way we eat, um, stress, and skincare products we use can cause inflammation, not just in our skin, but in our entire system. So it's really uh, important to know as much as possible about that. Um, excluding sun, we all know. Pollution, lots of people don't really um, see it as such a danger just yet, but pollution definitely causes inflammation and can even create um, acne in the skin. And lots of people who move into a city where there's a lot of pollution all of a sudden get acne and they, they, they wonder why, and it comes from pollution. Also, HEV light from our phones is a very um, recent um, problem because right now we spend so much time on our phones, so much time in front of computers and screens. And um, this digital light coming from the phones um, really aggressively penetrates our skin layers and causes a lot of problems. Um, definitely our diet, um, going on an anti-inflammatory diet, try to get early bedtimes and um, go to bed sometimes with an empty stomach really helps to, to um, rejuvenate and um, restore and um, help also our telomerase um, activation. And that's something which I wanna quickly tell you about telomerase activation is um, the most proven anti-aging theory there is. And it's all about cell division. Cell divisions um, really determine our lifespan. And um, for example, a human um, number of cell division is between 40 and 60, and a turtle's cell division is 110. There you see the difference. A turtle gets to live 200 years. So um, there is a study um, from Harvard. A Harvard professor did this on mice. And it says that telomerase activation is the only uh, way to not just stop the aging process, but also reverse it. And um, when I created the skincare line, the first products, obviously I couldn't use the blood in products which are on the shelf. Um, so I was wondering what ingredients really are cutting edge and so, um, you know, um, potent what can I use to really help the skin's aging process? And I came across telomerase activation. And um, I came across this herb called purslane. Purslane is an amazing herb. Purslane is not just a telomerase activator, but also it is a wound healing, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. It's rich on vitamin C, E, uh, and um, A. It's rich on um, omega-3 fatty acids. It's rich on beta carotene. It's such a power, powerful herb. And it's a telomerase activator. And what does it even mean? Telomeres are the little ends of a chromosome. So each, um, each cell division, first the chromosome has to duplicate. And then two new cells get created. And each duplication, those caps, those telomeres get shorter, 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 shorter. And when it's too short, the cell dies or mutates. So that's the really life-limiting factor right here. And we need to make sure those telomeres are always long. First of all, we don't want to accelerate um, the cell turnover, which a lot of anti-aging products do. They say, oh, we accelerate the cell turnover. We don't want that. 
really necessarily. Um, but you know, you want to keep those telomeres from shortening and you can do it with telomeres activation with a um, purslane, um, giving it from outside. When we are young, by the way, we have much more telomerase than when we grow older. So that's something which um, goes away as well. And by the way, telomerase activation um, or the telomerase activity only starts late at night in a later um, sleeping um, cycle. And that's really important. So if we only get short night sleeps, this telomerase um, is not really repaired and enhanced. So sometimes it's nice if we think about, okay, let's not have dinner. Let's get our, all our um, you know, re night repair mechanism to work and to help to repair our cells and you know sometimes it's really nice to think about it and really do an early bedtime with no dinner so it's called dinner canceling it's something which is actually um very um broadly discussed in an um, anti-aging theory and you know keep your um body energy and your body um, productivity towards your repair mechanism and um that's something we can do also against inflammation and right now it's really difficult because Right now we have so much stress because the times aren't certain and we really um, you know, have stress everywhere around and it increases a um, hormone called cortisol and cortisol um, increases inflammation cascade as well. And this is something we have to really pay attention to to bring down inflammation. Um, another thing with um, you know, melanin rich skin, for example, um, you know, there's not um, such a severe aging process because the melanin also um, protects from sun damage and cancer and causing wrinkles and, and, and aging, but um, the inflammation cascade is way higher. So it's also something we need to pay attention to. So how can we help in the skincare world? Uh, what can we do to slow down the aging process? We, we know we can um, adjust this with our lifestyle, but how do we actively and um, um, effectively address the aging process with our skincare routine. And lots of us, we, we see doctors and we um, get some fillers and Botox and such, but how can we really help with our skin physiology, consistency on a molecular level? level? What can we do? Number one, what shouldn't we do? Um, I always talk about it and um, you, the one of you who visits Skin School and Masterclass on a regular basis, you know this. Um, you know, you probably can tell me now, but we have something called skin barrier. And skin barrier is something um, which is amazing when we're younger and it kind of like fades away when we get older. So you already can see we need to keep that um, skin barrier young. And skin barrier consists out of dead skin cells, a hydrolipid film and um, sebum and a microbiome. And this microbiome and um, this whole structure is really important to keep this intact and balanced because it's like our protection tool in the skin. It's our fortress and we need to make sure this is like perfectly working because not only keeps it, does it keep um, substances we don't want in our skin away like for example allergens or bacteria, sun pollution HIV it has a protection function um, but also it keeps things we want in our skin in our skin for example moisture moisture is really important to have in our skin and there's something called transepidermal water loss uh, which makes moisture leave the skin and if our skin barrier function is weak this moisture leaves our skin and dries out our skin which also um, you know, forms then wrinkles and um, creates all kinds of problems. So what do we learn? Intact skin barrier function, hydration. Hydration is the key to the best, most beautiful skin. If your skin is dry, it will always have problems. We'll create breakouts, we'll create irritation, redness, it will create um, aging. Dry skin is not an option. So also if we have acne prone skin, never dry out your skin. Dryness is not never ever an option so keep this in mind if your skin is dry we need to fix it okay and if you have problems to fix it you call uh, me come in to this chat um, call our um, estheticians for a facetime consultation we need to fix the dryness in your skin and this is when i was younger i had dry skin i had blackheads i had to go and see a facialist every three weeks it was really like hard to um, get around and find a product which could help my hydration level. And there was nothing. There was literally, this was the reason why I came up with my own cream. Literally, this was, this was it. Said, you know, I think I have to fix my own skin. 
So that's why, you know, I pay such attention to hydration. So functioning skin barrier, hydration, anti-inflammation, that's my whole, you know, career as an orthopedic, inflammation, inflammation. I'm an anti-inflammatory doc doctor. It's really important, anti-inflammation, nutrition, and telomerase activation. So we need to make sure our skin has all the nutrition it needs and it needs to have telomerase activation in order to have the skin cells strong and keep them from dying and keep them from mutating. So that's, I think, the strongest anti-aging advice I can give you in lifestyle and in skincare. Stay away from everything which damages your skin barrier function, which technically is everything like perfumes, mineral oils, laser treatments, retinol, retin-A, glycolic acid peels. There's so many ingredients in skincare, found in skincare, which promise you anti-aging, which actually do exactly the opposite. And you know how you can, you can test it? If you buy an anti-aging product and you read on the packaging, don't use it when you're pregnant, you better stay away because when you're not allowed to use it when you're, when you're pregnant, it suggests that it can harm your unborn baby. And what do you think? It also can harm your overall health. So everything we put on our skin definitely also gets a chance to penetrate into our system. And we need to protect our organ organs. We need to protect everything in our body in order to keep as healthy as possible. And who wants to become a patient right now? Nobody wants to become a patient. We want to stay as healthy, as fit as possible. We do everything in our lifestyle. We do so many great things and we work out and we're good to our, ourselves, but often we're really bad to our skin. So one advice is to stay away from everything which is harmful to your skin and creates a damaged skin barrier function. Also, um, another advice I want to give you, if you decide for a philosophy for a skincare routine, stick to it. Don't become your own doctor. Don't combine lots of you know, serums and potions and, and stuff. Really stay really um, strong with one skincare because this philosophy is thought through and we can really, if someone just calls me and says, you know, I'm using um, your products, but I say, my skin is still dry. And then I say, what, what else do you use? Yeah, I use this Regine and I use this vitamin C serum. I say, you know, you can use whatever you want, but this will never um, have the effect you want because you're still using ingredients which not only dry out your skin, they also disrupt your skin barrier function. So there are two things I want to tell you. Retinol definitely causes inflammation and vitamin C in high concentration causes um, weakening skin barrier function. So there are two things you already should really pay attention to. And it will always dry out your skin, it will always create wetness and irritation. And if you have highly sensitive skin, like mine, for example, I would go in flames if I would use this um, product. So I would really suffer a lot. You know, maybe if you have strong skin and you're not so sensitive, maybe, okay, it works for you. but you definitely damage your skin barrier function. What happens when your skin barrier function is damaged? Everything from the outside, AGV light, um, pollution, sun, bam, penetrates your skin even more easily. And what can it cause? Hyperpigmentation, aging, <clears throat> cancer, everything. I mean, it's like something we need, we need to keep in mind, keep your skin barrier function strong. It's called corneotherapy in the dermatology. And it's um, very new and Another thing which is actually really interesting, the most, the most um, recent reason to go to a dermatologist now is guess what? Sensitivity. People are complaining about their sensitive skin and it's self-inflicted damages, you know? It's uh, something you do to your skin yourself by using all these crazy ingredients. So let's love our skin. Let's keep our skin cells strong, functioning, performing, not dying. Let's keep our skin in the best um, protecting um, situation it can be. Let's talk about serums because serums are pretty much going hand in hand with the anti-aging theories. Serums are a very concentrated form of ingredients. It's very targeting to... Um, to problems or skin conditions or skin wishes or um, things you want to just accomplish with your skin. It's very high concentrated, very small molecules, 
in a serum which penetrates fast and deep into the skin. And that's what we want. A serum is a totally necessary, modern, very innovative, cutting edge tool in our skincare program. And a serum doesn't replace a moisturizer, a moisturizer doesn't replace a serum. But a moisturizer, for example, could never ever um, get ingredients deep and fast into skin layers. It locks in moisture, which is great, but it also locks out active ingredients. So it's really important to get all the serums you want, all the targets you want to address into the skin first, and then you come with your moisturizer to lock down moisture. But it's really important that you get hydration to your skin first. So a moisturizer, mostly, and you know, if you go for rich, rich, rich creams, for example, you have super dry skin and you oh, I want to fix my skin. And that's my, what I tried when I was younger, I got a rich cream and I put it on and it just did right the opposite. And this is two reasons. Number one, it, you know, you give all the oils from outside. So it shuts down your own sebum production and just, skin gets even drier. Number two, there's a disconnect between the oil and the skin and it's kind of film on top and you just it just goes away. There's no connection between the skin and the oiliness. So you need to have hydration first and then the oils can actually do its job. So that's why hydration is number one, number one um, important step in our skincare routine. So let's um, let's see. What's the right t-shirt of our skincare routine? You all know that. It's our Hyaluronic Serum. Hyaluronic Serum is a must in your skincare routine. You cannot not have a Hyaluronic Serum. It could be in form of a clarifying serum, of the anti-pollution drops, of the um, super anti-aging serum. These are all Hyaluronic Serums. You can whether do them all, you can do just one, but you need to have one Hyaluronic Serum. It's really, really, really important. And the Hyaluronic Serum um, and especially our hyaluronic serum is so amazing because it has the right consistency. It's important the consistency matters because if it's too thick, it can't penetrate. If it's too thin, it's not good enough. It's, it needs to have different molecule sizes which penetrates different skin layers in order to get deep hydration and superficial hydration. Why is hydration so important to get into deeper layers? Number one, we have the skin cells. Dehydrated skin cells don't function, cannot um, really take on active ingredients. So the hydration of our skin cells also matter. Our skin cells get bored in deeper layers. They walk up, they divide 40 to 60 times, then they become dead skin cells and then they flake off. It's a cycle, it takes 28 days, um, skin renewal. And um, during this process, they need hydration in order to take on active ingredients. So absolutely necessary to always keep them juicy. I always compare raisin with grapes. Always keep them as grapes, absolute hydrated. Also, what's necessary in deeper layers, we have the collagen and elastin. If you think of a rubber band which gets dry, it grumbles. Same with elastin and collagen. If we keep our elastin and collagen hydrated, they stay fresh and young, and it prevents the body from um, the skin from creating wrinkles. So, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, we get wrinkles very early, like in our twenties or early early thirties. We find those growth feeds on our eyes and be like, oh, what do we do? Do we need to get Botox? Guys, I tell you, don't get Botox around your eyes. It will change your skin. What you need to do is to hydrate, deeply hydrate. Put that super anti-aging serum on your eyes, eye cream. Do that all the time. Really hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. In these early ages, you can really make a difference with skincare and wrinkles. Hydration, never dry out your skin. If you have hydrated skin, you will protect from getting wrinkles. Also, um, you know, don't get Botox. Rather do, if you really can't um, help it enough with skincare and it really bothers you still, a little um, very um, thin layer of um, very thin um, hyaluronic acid fillers instead of Botox. So stay away from Botox a little bit. Um, then hyaluronic serum, white t-shirt of the skincare, uh, skincare line. Also, what's really great about the hyaluronic serum, the hyaluronic serum model molecules um, function as a carrier. So the purslane, which is here too, which is a telomerase activator, which I just explained, um, gets carried with the molecules of the hyaluronic acid into deep layers. That's where we want it, okay? So must have hyaluronic serum. If you want to um, do the super anti-aging serum, it's also very potent hyaluronic acid, but also has glutathione and more purslane. I love this. I use the hyaluronic serum in the morning. I use the super anti-aging serum at night. 
And um, it's really great. Um, the glutathione is super powerful and probably the most powerful antioxidant, helps with sun damage, also helps to prevent from um, hyperpigmentation because it blocks the enzyme which creates the hyperpigmentation. So I really love the super anti-aging serum for you guys. Um, Anti-pollution drops, absolutely necessary right now, um, especially when we spend a lot of time in front of the computers. We need the protection layer to block out the AGV light from the phones, okay? Also pollution, it's actually a great city product. If you suffer of acne from the city, this helps so many people to get rid of the acne just because this blocks out the pollution. Then um, we also, of course, have the um, Halonic Serum for darker skin tones. It has one extra ingredient called Lumicol, and Lumicol is amazing because it evens out the skin tone and helps with hyperpigmentation. So if any one of you suffers of a hyperpigmentation, melasma, I would always go for the darker skin tone skin tone line doesn't matter which um, um, skin tone you are you can use it any 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 skin tone can use it it just helps with hyperpigmentation also it's great because it helps with breakouts and acne um, because what I just said darker skin tone have a bigger inflammation cascade and therefore are prone to more breakout and then post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation so that's why um, the hyaluronic serum for the darker skin tone line we have another hyaluronic serum. It's the clarifying serum. Um, if you have acne prone skin, um, really amazing to help irritate the skin, but also heal up um, blemishes and breakouts. The clarifying serum you use instead of the hyaluronic serum. You can also stack it up. So the beauty with, hyalur uh, with the serums is um, you start with the clear serums. Yeah. So that's why I tell you all the um, hyaluronic acid based serums um, to start with the beginning. You weather um, take a serum, I, I will show it with the honey serum. You put it in your hand, you apply it to your skin. You can pat it, you can also rub it in. Lots of you love to pat it because it's also like a ritual. Don't forget to treat your neck, decollete, um, everything, the whole and the rest on your hands, okay? Because hands aging too. So we need to make sure that we also take care of our hands. So. With the hyaluronic serum, you wait 20 seconds and then you can come with the next one. What I do in the morning, I mix the hyaluronic serum with the anti-pollution drops. So I just drop the anti-pollution in and mix it together. But you also can layer. And the nice thing about the Sturm products, they dissolve right into your skin and you can put on the next one. So it really gets one with the skin, which I, I, I really pay a lot of attention to that these products all can be, you know, stacked up, stacked up, is this a word? Layered. So layered and you can use a lot, okay? So, but you also can decide for one. So if you have acne prone skin, you might want to go for the clarifying serum, okay? And then you um, switch to the creamy ones for the lipid formulation. And we have two to be used before the moisturizer. This is the calming serum and that's the brightening serum. So the calming serum is one of my favorites. The calming serum is my house pharmacy and it has chamomile, aloe vera, urea, cardiosperm, perslade, skull cup. It's a super, super amazing combination of healing ingredients, but also it takes down redness irritation. So if you were just on acid peels and laser treatments, whatever, that's the perfect healing cocktail, healing tool. Uh, also after sunburn, um, Anyway, after sun, you know, if you want to um, just heal anything, a mosquito bite, after waxing, um, shaving, also for you guys, you know, if you shave, hyaluronic serum and, and calming serum, amazing after shaving. So that's something I also use um, in the winter months every day. If you have rosacea prone skin, redness, irritation, it's the perfect serum. So you use that after your hyaluronic serum. Um, and the brightening serum also amazing, works with, um, just brightens up your skin, but also works against the agglomeration of yellow and dark spots. So it helps with hyperpigmentation, melasma. That's another serum to be used before the moisturizer. Okay. And then, then you use your moisturizer and you can choose one of our face creams. I use the normal face cream, super hydrating. And you know, the amazing thing with our moisturizer, and I really need to point this out because it took me like three years to create it. And the moisturizer, well, what's really important, and that's why I couldn't find anyone, any, any moisturizer on the market which could hydrate my skin. The hydration part is so 
important. So if you have, if you're using a moisturizer which just sits on your skin and is super oily and you sweat underneath, that's not a good moisturizer. You need a moisturizer which goes right into your skin, leaves your skin dewy and hydrated. Oh, it's so nice. I mean, this formulation, look at it. It's just so good. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with all my products. So um, that's why I can talk to you about it. So this moisturizer you put on, it feels so good. And it just goes right into your skin, leaves your skin dewy, glowy, hydrated. And that's great to lock the hydration into your skin after you use the serums, okay? And then we have a few more serums I want to talk, to, talk to you about the glow drops. The glow drops I literally use throughout the day. I use it after my face cream. I use it, um, I use it whenever I feel like I want to have an extra hydration and care for my skin. It's also something you want to combine with the foundation if you want to use foundation. If you um, want to highlight your foundation, you can do that. I use it as it is. I'm like this natural skin showing woman. I never use makeup. <clears throat> I just don't like it. Um, I just don't like it on my skin. I, you know, sometimes like the way it looks, but I don't like it on my skin, so I stay away. Um, another um, really important product, especially now, are the sun drops SPF 50. And I tell you one thing about the sun, because that's also really important. If you have strong skin barrier functions, and we know sun is the most aggressive aging tool there is. I mean, there's nothing more aggressive than if you you know, see skin of women who spend a lot of time in the sun and they don't even use sunscreen and they get older, they have really a lack of elasticity. You can tell it's really nothing you, you, you can do to, to, to heal it. But it's really, um, the sun has two things. Number one, it's aggressive to us and it destroys our collagen and it creates free radicals. It's really, really bad, but it also has something good. The sun is really responsible for our collagen production interesting it creates vitamin d it is important for our bones it's important for our immune system so i need to tell you we need we cannot exclude ourselves completely from the sun we need some sun but we cannot have too much so we really have to decide how much do we need to have our vitamin d intake yeah but um how much is too much so that's why it's really important uh, when you go in the sun you use the um, sun drops in spf 50 you use it as your last layer. But really important for a sunscreen, it needs to penetrate into your skin. If it doesn't do it, it's not good. You know, it needs to really become one with your skin to have the absolute uh, maximum success. And it's important that you use the sunscreen everywhere, also on your ears, neck, back of the neck, everywhere. If you sweat, if you do sports, if you go in the pool, if you go in the ocean, reapply the sunscreen, okay? Really, really important. Um, what I like, if you have super oily skin, I like to mix it a little bit with the hyaluronic serum, mix it together, then it's not SPF 50 anymore, but it's really important that it gets everywhere. So if you have SPF 30, it's not a big difference to SPF 50, yeah? So SPF 30, also good, but it's important that you reapply and um, apply it everywhere it's needed, yeah? Sun, sun drops. So one more serum I see here, that's the um, scalp serum. Scalp serum is um, one of my favorites now, and it feels so good on my scalp. So you take the scalp, it's also a hyaluronic serum. You put it on your scalp, and then you massage it in. Just do it right now because it just feels so good. And it's taking care of our skin on the scalp, which is really important to keep the skin also healthy in order to have you know, a healthy scalp. Also um, helps with healthy hair growth and um, to keep just our overall skin health intact, skin health strong, hydrated, exfoliated. So please, we do so much damage to our scalp with blow drying, straightening, dyeing our hair. So um, sun pollution. So let's take care of our scalp. One more thing I wanna to talk to you about anti-aging is hyaluronic acid in our body. Hyaluronic acid is, that's why I do so many formulations with hyaluronic acid. Acid. I even have the ingredients to build hyaluronic acid in the skin food. And hyaluronic acid is, is really in our eyeballs, in our joints, in our skin. And it's really, really important. And we need to drink a lot of water a day, like two, three liters, okay, to um, ensure that if we give hyaluronic acid in form um, of a serum, you know, 
hyaluronic acid molecules are able to bind thousand times its weight in water. So if you add water from, um, Charlie, can I have some water? Please? <laughs> if, I, uh, if we add water um, to our system, um, we also have enough water um, for the hyaluronic acid to bind, you know? So it's important to always adapt the lifestyle to, um, you know, our skincare routine. So skin food um, is my total obsession because I put all the ingredient science from the skincare also in the skin food. So it's hydrating, anti-inflammatory, telomerase activating. So it has actually two um, telomerase activators in the skin food, the, um, the astragalus and the purslane. And I'm obsessed with telomerase activation. If you want to learn more about it, there are lots of studies. out. I'm, I'm also happy to send you a, a science paper if you just want to learn more because it's so interesting and it's really, it's really the most proven theory of anti-aging. So two a day, okay? Um, for me, do I have people? Yeah, we have a first person there for you. It's from Nicole. Are you there? I'm here. Some more oh, there she is. And there's a hydrating face mist, by the way. You want some? <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Hi. Good to I'm see well. you. I'm well. How are you, Dr. Sturm? Good. Good. My name is Nicole. I'm coming to you from Chicago. Um, oh, I love and, Chicago. Oh, good. Um, uh, my question is, I'm 46 years old, and I have extremely sensitive skin. I have freckles, melasma, rosacea, you name it. I've never been able to find an entire line that can treat all of those things together without yes. aggravating one or the other conditions. So I'm wondering what you would recommend for kind of a full suite of products for me to switch over yes. to, to address it. Yes. So you, you actually really have everything, you know, you have every problem. And then I want to just add, I'm, I'm so convinced about what I'm doing. So, and I'm, I'm a doctor, you know, I'm not a business person. I don't come from the industry. I, I really, I'm, I'm, I really started as a doctor. And when a patient comes to me, I want to give advice, you know, and um, when I learned that there was nothing on the market, which could help my skin and patients came to me and said, you know, like you now, what can I do? I wanted to be able to give everything from my own line. That's why I have so many products. Doesn't mean that you all need all these products. You could have three products and you're good or two, whatever. If you have a face cream, fine, you know? It's, but I wanted to be able to give advice to everyone with my own knowledge, you know? So now I'm really happy I have all these products because I can tell you quite a bit. So um, are you using retinol, retin-A, any of those no, harsh ingredients? I can't use anything Very remotely good. close to Very that. Very good. Very good. So what you definitely need is our cleanser. It's the most okay. gentle cleansing foam, super hydrating, great for sensitive skin. And if you have sensitive skin, maybe you only wash your face in the evenings, okay? That's what I do. So, good. <laughs> yes. So you use the cleanser and then you do once a week, you use the enzyme cleanser. It's a powder. You, you put a little powder in your hand, you mix it with water and it becomes a foam and you put it on your skin and leave it on for one minute and then you wash it off. I do this ideally, I do this in the, in the shower, but it's the most okay. gentle form of exfoliation. Do this once a week, okay? And then, uh, what I want you to do, do you use a toner? Uh, no, I've never used a toner. Okay, so let's, let's not use the toner. Let's do, um, let's start with the hyaluronic serum. I want you to use the hyaluronic serum. <clears throat> okay. And maybe you mix, you mix a um, few drops of the anti-pollution drops in there, just because, um, are you spending lots of times in front of the computer right now? Yeah. It's, it's better to do this um, um, screen protection, okay? So okay. you use these, and then you use <clears throat> the calming serum. Okay. Calming serum. And by the way, the hyaluronic serum, I would um, want you to use the darker skin tone line okay. because of the um, hyperpigmentation, okay? So the calming serum, then next. And then the brightening serum. Always wait a little bit, and then you apply the next one, the brightening serum, yeah? Okay. And then I would actually recommend you the um, face lotion, the brightening face lotion. Okay. Yeah? Yep. And then, of course, if, if you want to do the eye cream and the sun drops, 
you know um, you can do all that but these are like the the ones I would want you to have in your skincare routine and in the evening what I actually can we um, oh now I wanted to give you the super anti-aging serum instead of the hyaluronic serum but you have the darker skin tone line. actually you know what I would do the super anti-aging serum instead of the hyaluronic serum okay is this and, in the morning and at night or? Yeah, do this morning and at night. You can also, I mean, I don't know how many serums you want to get, but you could also do this in the morning. And for the night routine, you do the super anti-aging serum and the night serum and the brightening serum. You know, if you okay. feel like doing, this is a really elaborate um, skincare routine. If you feel like doing so much, I don't want to, because I, I personally like it always simple, you know. So I want to see how much you want to do of it. You can also maybe only start with the brightening lotion and don't do the brightening serum for now, but I just want to give you the options. So you also, what you definitely should have is a hyaluronic serum and the, and the calming serum. Yeah. Okay. So I give you all the options. I know it's very complicated, but um, if you do it once, it's um, actually getting really easy, but for the nighttime, especially, um, you know, anti-aging, the night serum. Oh, I haven't talked about the night serum. It's my total obsession. Anti-aging serum and night serum at night. This night serum is everything. It's a, quite a new serum. And um, we are all obsessed with it. I go through the bottles like crazy because I just love it. It's a very velvety serum. And it has ingredients like cotton thistle extract to um, rebuild collagen overnight. It also has um, senalata extract to... Um, to repair UV damage from the day. It has ingredients to um, soothe irritated skin, strengthen skin barrier function, um, filling in fine lines and wrinkles. It's really amazing. So the night serum is a must have for everybody. Does it matter which, which one you put on first, the night serum or the super anti-aging? This doesn't matter. I always okay. do the super anti-aging serum first and then the night serum, but you can also do it the other way. Yeah, Okay. it's, it's fine. And then um, as a supplement, the repair food, if you can do so much. I mean, you have so yeah. many things. So I want to give you the repair <laughs> food, the skin food, and the brightening food. I don't know. If the brightening food is also amazing for hyperpigmentation. Okay. I mean, we had so many things with you now. We had redness irritation, <laughs> redness irritation, hyperpigmentation, anti-aging. So it's like, you know, it's like a really, you know, very compact um skincare routine and there's nothing missing for you so you target everything you know um and it should do totally help you know would like to stay in touch and see how you're um doing okay um yeah i would really like to know if you know you're getting happy with your skin but this is a really good routine for you um especially also with redness and irritation it will help the coming serum is magical my I'm excited favorite. to try all of the things that will work together instead of against yes. each other. So yes, exactly. They all work together. Always when you start with, you always start with the clear serums. Wait 20 seconds, and then you put the next one on. Wait, wait until it's dissolved into your skin. You will also see you don't need that much. And um, the reason why I gave you the lotion, the brightening lotion, is not just for um, hyperpigmentation, but also when you have rosacea prone skin you cannot go for too much oils so it's really um to stay light in your moisturizer yeah okay. especially now for the summer see if this is um um rich enough okay eventually we have to adjust that but i think it should work fantastic thank you so much so nice to meet you you too thank you yeah keep me posted yeah we have you i will in touch with the team I, I really would like to see your progress okay sure thank you so nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. Bye. Bye. Next we have Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Hi. Can you hear me? Hi. How are you? Hi. I have a couple of questions. It's, it's Pam from Chicago, and I'm 63. Also Chicago. Like Nicole was in Chicago okay. just now. And wanted to ask a question regarding the difference between hyaluronic acid and matrixol. And the what? Matrixol. Oh, so hyaluronic acid is something, it's not an acid. It's um, something we have like a water gel in our skin. So it's something which is naturally in our skin, naturally placed. And it's something also which, which keeps our skin juicy and hydrated and, you know, plump. 
and it's something we we absolutely need to replace in our skin you know it's yeah. something naturally to our skin so it's 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 something we need to replace and keep you know our skin to in order to keep our skin young huh? okay thank you and then i had one other quick one on micro needling of the skin yes. is that good for the skin or is that something you should stay away from so microneedling you have to be really careful number one microneedling causes a causes a slight inflammation so what i recommend to um to my patients is that you really go with a very um short needle like 0.25 or 0.3 to 0.5 the most and you needle together with the hyaluronic serum you need a, um, though, you know, you put a lot of hyaluronic serum on and then you go over with the micro needling, um, you know, roller. And this yeah. is almost no inflammation. If you go super deep and super tough um, with the micro needling, like whatever, like 1.5 or, you know, even one, you cause more inflammation to your skin because you go deeper. And then what can happen, especially also in combination with the sun, you can get hyperpigmentation, you know, and that's something which this inflammation can cause post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So definitely stay super, super mild in the needle length, yeah? And then okay. um, maybe do it once a month. Um, you just want to do it for anti-aging? Yes. Yes. So if you stay with 0.25 and you do it every two, three, four weeks, um, I think you should be fine. Stay out of the sun for two, three days. You know, use sunscreen. Um, but I think you should be fine. I wouldn't go deeper. Okay. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Caroline. Yes. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. I, I know your face. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm here on behalf of my mom because she she doesn't speak English. So she I told her about the session that I had and yeah. told me, and she was like, oh my God, I want to know too. So I'm here on behalf of her because she has, she's uh, 63 years old. She has extremely, extremely oily skin. Like there's no makeup in this world that would stay on her eyelids. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Very, and, um, also, she has a very bad hyperpigmentation because a very horrible incident that she had when she purchased a sunblock. Yes. So what will be the ultimate treatment for her and like for anti-aging and to help her with all those things? Similar to what I just um, said to Nicole, uh, it's really like important that you um, with melasma hyperpigmentation, first of all, it's important to hydrate. It doesn't matter if you have oily skin or dry skin. Hydration is always the key. So why doesn't she do the super anti-aging serum? Yeah. And then add the brightening serum in the morning. And in the evening, she does the super anti-aging serum and the night serum. Yeah. Okay. So, so she does the super anti-aging morning and night and the night serum in the night and the morning, the brightening serum. She also could add the brightening serum in the evenings too, you know? So these okay. three serums, show you. Okay. Yeah, super anti-aging night serum and brightening. And then um, the sun drops as a sunscreen, yeah? And then mm -hmm. as a face cream, um, she could go for the face cream light. We have a very light face when we show it to you. It's, it's not an option to not, Maybe she can use it in the evenings, you know, but we need a moisturizer. Look, it's very, very, very light. Yeah. Very, it's very light. I, I'll put it on the skin. <laughs> it's almost, oh, I have a much better idea. Wait, you know what? Okay. Don't do the face cream. You know what to do? The anti-aging primer. Because oh. that's basically, that's basically a face cream, super light and it mattifies your skin and it shrinks pores. It's really amazing, actually. Okay. This, I think that's great because it also has the mattifying effect, you know? Oh, awesome. It's yeah. very light. 
I think that would be the best one, the primer. Okay. Yeah, As she. Yeah, she used a lot of. Um, she used a lot of creams that altered her pH. Yes. Yeah. Then maybe you know. Oh, good point. She should use the balancing toner. Oh. Balancing toner, cleanser, and the enzyme cleanser twice a week. Okay. Enzyme cleanser twice a week, the cleanser and the balancing toner. And I would also give her the eye cream because it's really light, but it's really good um, to help with anti-aging around the skin and the eyes, but it's very, very light. I'm, I'm sure she will love it because it's also cooling the skin, you know, even though she is um, oily, but do the, um, the enzyme cleanser and the, and the um, toner. Okay, awesome. And here, skin food, but you know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. Well, I is Tama. Um, she's on the phone, so I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, cool. Yeah, say hi yes. to your mom and keep us posted how it's going, okay? Well, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Thank Good you. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hey, how hi, are so you? sorry. Hi, did you catch that? Hi. Hi, uh, I'm Yoon and uh, I'm residing in Singapore. Uh, yeah, so uh, in our country, it's really uh, sunny and uh, humid. So um, I would actually like to ask, how do we actually um, reapply sunscreen throughout the day? Like, because uh, we all, our sun is strong in Singapore and it's always you sunny. Do yeah. you wear makeup? I, I was in Singapore actually um, in the summer. I was around that time of the year actually I was in Singapore. It's really, it's really hot. It's so nice. Yeah, it's green and sunny yeah. and really Beautiful. nice, yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah even with... Makeup? Sorry, yeah, like I do a light BB makeup. So I was wondering like how do we actually reapply sunscreen because they recommend it every two hours. Yeah, but it's so, uncomfortable to reapply with makeup on. So, I think it would be, you know, are you fully in the sun all day? Uh, sometimes, yes. Like, I do spots as well. Yes. So, I will be so when you sweat, when you sweat and when you go in the water, you have to reapply the sunscreen, you know, right away. You don't have to reapply it every two hours. You just have to make sure it's really effective it dissolves into your skin and you apply it everywhere so if you apply it two three times during the day that's enough yeah it's very even though it's very 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 effective and very potent yeah so yeah. i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest to do it every two hours i mean if you want to be like super excluded and super um you know 200 percent you know but I don't, I can't imagine that you're sitting in the sun the whole day. <laughs> no, I don't sit in the sun the whole day. It's just like, um, like when we come out in the day, midday, like about um, three o'clock. So yes, um, why don't you, you do it before um, that? Do it again before you go out. Yeah. So if uh -huh. you, I would start in the morning and then when you actually, actually go outside, you reapply it just before. And then if you do sports and you sweat, you wash your face and you do your skincare routine again. How do I actually um, reapply it? Like over makeup, is there a technique that doesn't um, pollute my skin? Like, yes. Yeah, so uh, tap on the bacteria. You pat it on. I think it's with makeup, you have to really, really be careful because the makeup often sits on your skin and with makeup, it wouldn't dissolve into your skin. So if you reapply, it would make sense to wash your skin before and reapply just in order to make sure that it really dissolves into the skin. Otherwise, it's not uh, working. So just putting it on top of makeup is not the best idea. So better, you know, go in the bathroom and just um, do your skin routine again. All right, cool. Yeah? Yes. So um, even without makeup, it's okay to just pat it on again? Yes, midday? without makeup. You know, you always have to check what kind of... Um, skincare or makeup you use so if you have the feeling it only sits on top it's not that effective it really needs to you need to make sure that the sunscreen dissolves into your skin and you can test it for yourself i can tell you with the products um in my line they always dissolve so i can you know but that's a good test you know if you just feel that 
it really went into your skin. Sure. That's very helpful. Thank you so much. Okay. So nice to meet you. <laughs> so nice to meet you too. Bye. Bye. Hi, Julia. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I learned a tremendous amount from you today, but I do have a few questions. I have very, yes. very sensitive and reactive. I can skin. see that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I was wondering, uh, I do spend a lot of time in front of the screen right now, but I also go in and out. So I understand that I would need to apply the anti pollution um, the anti pollution serum as well as the the sun drops. So my question is, do you reapply the anti pollution if you spend hours and hours in front of the screen? And yes. Then do you apply it after the sun drops. I apply it before the sun drops. Yeah. Before and I re and then you put the sun drops on, but when you are spending so much time in front of the screen, you also feel that your skin gets dry. You can do two things. You can um, use the hydration face mist. Okay. And I re reapply the anti-pollution drops in between. Okay. And and then how often would you reapply the uh, the sun drops during the day if you if you are spending like let's say it's the weekend and you are spending the day outside. How often do you reapply the sun drops? If you spend your time outside. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely like two, three times throughout the day, depending what activities you do, you know? And, and if you go in the water? Then right away after. Right away. Okay. And um, I was wondering if, um, so I find that I, I, I gravitate naturally towards the, um, the sensitive skin uh, products and I, I always find that when I'm using a sensitive skin cleanser a lot of times it's a cream cleanser and yeah. I always feel like it, it leaves a bit of a film residue that I really yes. don't like but then I don't want to use anything harsher yeah. so so what would be a, a good that's a really good product? question because um, especially when you have like sensitive skin and also rosacea prone then um, too much oil is not um, welcome for the skin so it's really important to um, Use a cleanser which is mild and sensitive but doesn't leave an oily film on your skin. That's why I would like for you to use our cleanser. It's the mildest cleanser there is just because it's a, the foam comes through the pump. It's not because the ingredients. It's a silky, most beautiful foam with urea, aloe vera, purslane. It's a pH of 5.2 which is really good because it's very um, similar to the skin's pH. And it's just, um, I use it on my kit sometimes, you know, it's just like this mild. Okay. And do you recommend a toner after? So the toner, I would um, do the balancing toner. Don't do a toner with acids in it. Don't yeah. do a harsh toner. This is a toner which also ha has hyaluronic acid, which is not an acid acid. Hyaluronic okay. acid, but also vitamin E, um, beta glucan. It's super mild, um, super loving to the skin. pH, um, you know, balancing. It's really good. Uh, do, uh, if you have time, I have a couple of other questions. Yes. Uh, one to stay on the skin. Recently, somebody told me about dermaplaning. Is that a yes or a no? Don't do it, especially not with your skin. You okay. will be hey, you will you will you will be so unhappy. Don't do it. Okay, thank you. And the other question is about you were mentioning the the scalp uh, serum. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I have in the last year noticed that I am having some scalp sensitivity issues as well. Is that something that you would recommend? Yes. That it's so yes, I tell you. I, tell yeah, you, I talked to my friend the other day, and she said she she said she always had itchy itchy yes. scalp. Always, she said it healed her completely. She doesn't have itchiness anymore. It's just like really taking good care of your scalp. You know, mm -hmm. we have the best feedback about the scalp serum. Okay, and it's something that you can apply like every day or even multiple. Perfect. Yeah, and you know, I put it in like semi dry yeah. hair, yeah. you know, it's like you put it on a scalp, you massage it in, it's not yeah. oily, you know, it doesn't leave your hair oily or anything. It's yeah. just nice, you know? Okay. And, and your skin school program, it's a series of different presentations or it's, or it's a repetition of the same? Um, you know, um, interest is an interesting question because I'm always like, you know, what, what do we do today? But, but we have so many people who come every Wednesday, so we make it a little different every time. We repeat some things, some basics. And, um, you know, I ha also have, like, friends joining. Next week, um, Kristen Noel Crowley is joining, and then Maria Sharapova the week after. So we have, like, so many um, friends also joining who um, report from their experiences and 
um, I think it's just nice to um, always learn something new. So if you have time on Wednesdays, I would recommend for you to come. It's really good. I'll make the time. Thank you so much. Really appreciate <laughs> so it. Nice to meet you. You too. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, Donna. Hi, Hi. How are you? Yeah. So my name is Donna and I'm in Maryland. So I'm in an area, of, you know, very kind of humid and hot. It's starting to get that way. And I have, I'm 57. So I have more mature, dry skin, um, uneven skin tone. So some hyperpigmentation. Yes. And I tend to get um, congested around the nose. That's where I'll yes. tend to have like my blackheads. Yes. So I'm just, you know, I love the things that you've said today, I've, um, you know, taken in. But hydration, hydration is key for me. Um, but just curious, some of the products that you would recommend for, you know, what I've told you so far. Yes, so it's actually, it's actually perfect. I in invented a whole line for darker skin tones, and it targets fl inflammation, breakouts, and uneven skin tone. So it's because, because of the hyperpigmentation and of the inflammation, you get hyperpigmentation and unevenness in, in the skin tones. But yet, we still have to hydrate. We have to exfoliate. You know, do you exfoliate? So something which is really I amazing. I do, and I, yeah. This, you will love that. The enzyme cleanser is amazing. It's a powder you mix with water. You will love this cleanser. You use this twice a week for exfoliation. And if you get your exfoliation right and your hydration right, then you won't have the blackheads. Yeah? Okay. It's really it's really a good balancing of that, you know, sebum production, exfoliation, and hydration. Yeah. And yes. um I actually I don't know if you want to try it. I, I have a little um where's the darker skin tone kit? I I put a kit together with like five products, the cleanser, the enzyme cleanser, the face cream um, light, the, uh, the face cream, the face cream rich, and um, the, 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 the hyaluronic serum for darker skin tones. So if okay. you want to try it all together, this would be a perfect um, routine you would love. And maybe add the eye cream and add, um, you know, the night serum because, you know, for aging, I always like to get extra ingredients to our skin. Um, to help with collagen and to help with just the elasticity of our skin yes, and all of that. Yeah. Yes. So I, I always, I always would. I, I'm obsessed with this night serum. I always would add the night serum in the evenings and also the eye cream. And okay. I think then, then you set. I think this would be really good for you. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I think like you said the exfoliating is key because I noticed that the products do absorb better once. Yeah, I exfoliate. Yes, but yeah. don't over exfoliate. And, and that I, I give you quickly like an intro about this. There are three ways of exfoliation. Number one is an, a scrub, you know, a facial scrub. Mm -hmm. It's very mild, you can use it. It's um, nice for um, enhancing circulation, taking off dead skin cells. The most gentle form and the most thorough form of exfoliation is an enzyme cleanser. You, what I just recommended to you, you wash your face, leave it on for one minute and take it off. The third form of exfoliation is um, an acid peel. And the acid peel, it's, it's a problem because it doesn't only take um, dead skin cell off, but also healthy skin cells and it disrupts your skin barrier function, okay? So please um, don't over exfoliate. Don't do resurfacing. Resurfacing is a wrong word in the skincare, okay? okay? So please stay really happy and I'm loving with your skin. And then your skin will love you back with a beautiful, healthy glow. Yep. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. You too. Thank you. <laughs> hi, Victoria. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm okay. How are you? Good. Where are you? So I'm Victoria. My, I'm from Ukraine, based in London at the moment. So quickly about myself. I'm 38, combination skin, quite season with a, a lot of Course, and I do have some pigmentation around my eyes. Yes. I already use your, some of your products, which is I love it. The mask, I'm obsessed, the face cream, cleanser, I do have a scrub, and I do have a set of your serum, but I'm a little bit confused what is good for me. Maybe something yes. not good for me because when I'm go, I'm buying and then I don't know how to. Call yes, it. how to use them. How to, uh, so do you, if you have the serum set, you have the brightening serum, right? Yeah. yeah. 
so the brightening serum is great for hyperpigmentation and the, 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 the brightening serum you use after the hyaluronic serum. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And then um, you have in the serums that you have the hyaluronic serum, the super anti-aging serum and the calming serum. The calming yeah. serum, I, I like to use, you know, once in a while. I don't use it every day. So it's nice to really, you know, sometimes when you feel like a little stressed or you were in the sun or... No, I'm using when I'm like a flying, my skin is dry yes. on the plane. Yes, the calming serum is amazing. Mm -hmm. so, so use the hyaluronic serum in the morning together with the brightening serum. And in mm -hmm. the evening, you use the super anti-aging serum with the brightening serum. Okay. Yeah. And... Um, for your combination skin, do you also have breakouts in this area or no? Just no, I didn't. No, just okay. the pores, yeah, and the okay. black dot. So use the um, enzyme cleanser. Okay. Get the enzyme cleanser for twice a week. Uh huh. Okay. Which face cream do you have? The normal face cream? Normal face cream. Okay, I think it's fine um, as long as you do twice a week the enzyme cleanser and also use um, our. Um, you have this cleanser, no? Yeah, you have the yeah. cleanser. Yeah. I and maybe I, what I, you I also I, should I, add to your program is the balancing toner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the order. Yeah. Toner. Because I tried the uh, light cream and it was I felt it not enough for me. The skin was fine. Use the light cream here and the normal okay. face cream here. Okay, that's a good idea. Because often with combination skin, you need to divide your 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 face in different zones. Mm -hmm. And regarding where you need what, you just need to use it. Um, you just decide, you know, this part light, this part normal. Yeah, because I felt it like kind of here is not enough. Yeah. Which is yeah. here is totally yes. fine. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank so you nice so much. to meet you. Yeah. Hi to London. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. So everyone, I have so much more questions. I want to check what's here. I, I, you submit so many questions. I love that you do that. And um, we make sure we answer all your questions. Um, also, if you want to come to Skin School next week, um, I'm doing this with Kristen Noel Crowley, who um, also has a beauty brand called KNC Beauty. And she's a dear friend of mine. And um, this would be great. Also next week, um, next Saturday, we have a masterclass again. I'm, I, I hope you all um, got some skin background and education. And if you like it, um, just also send us an email. Let us know what we can make better, what I can make better. I mean, I'm here all by myself. And thank you for Team Sturm. I'm obviously not all by myself. I have Charlie here helping and Team Sturm, thank you. It's um, it's um it's so nice to connect through all these um you know digital devices right now and i'm sending you so much love have a happy weekend um stay healthy take good care of yourself and um yeah big kiss to you <laughs>